So how many of you guys been to or actually remember Chuck E. Cheese? You know, the place where a kid can be a kid? I just got an idea how to make Chuck E. Cheese's better than ever. It's a pizzeria and arcade franchise that was founded by Atari co-founder Nolan Bushell, and after a lot of financial troubles, it was eventually acquired by Brock Hotel Corporations, who at the time owned Showbiz Pizza. And it also may or may not have inspired the likes of Five Nights at Freddy's. But let's be honest, any kid who dares to catch the gaze of Mr. Charles Entertainment Cheese is going to be seeing him again in their dreams. That's the look of a rat who has buried people. Anyway, they did do a lot of changes over the last few years. I remember my older brother or someone else having a birthday party there around like the early 2000s, and I was not having it with the animatronics. They terrified me. Yeah, that's right. I was scared of animatronics before it was cool. It didn't really help that after the animatronic show, they actually had someone in a Chuck E. Cheese costume like walk around, so I could never truly escape it. We did go a few more times throughout my life, but I never had to deal with the animatronics or the guy in the suit. I guess they only really do those for birthdays. And I just enjoyed the arcade and some of the pizza. Now, I can't really go there anymore. I mean... Apparently I can, but I think it's going to be a little weird for a 28-year-old to be going to a place made for kids by himself to play the Jurassic Park arcade game. I think that might be a little awkward. But I hear what you're probably thinking, why not just go to an arcade for adults like Dave and Busters? Well, yeah, that might be the more sensible option. I mean, I personally don't see a reason to ever going back to Chuck E. Cheese again. Oh yeah, well I didn't see Dave or Busters compete in the Galaxy 5000. Chuck E. Cheese and the Galaxy 5000 was a direct-to-VHS movie that was released on October 5th, 1999 in restaurants and retail stores. Now, I don't know if you got this through tickets in the prize booth or you just paid for it outright, but it was probably the pay for it with cash considering the $5 worth of token coupon that's slapped on the cover, and also considering how rare it is nowadays. I only found this one for like $500. Luckily, you can find it online. If you for some reason just gotta watch this movie. It was distributed by Funimation Studios, the director, David Orr, only having this credited in his IMDb, even though it also says he was involved in Nova, a 1974 show about science. He's listed as additional crew. Also, when you click on his name, you get the former mayor of Chicago, which as far as I know has no connection to this. The writer, Neil Bly, also wrote a lot of Dragon Ball Z stuff, and that's mainly what he's been doing. The voice of Chuck and the voice of the dog Jasper were the only ones in the cast to have been voiced by their actual voice actors. The chicken Helen, her voice actress in this, seems to have only done this role. But Mr. Munch, on the other hand, was voiced by Chris Sabat, who also voices everyone's favorite short king, Vegeta. It's kind of weird how this was a lot more common in the 90s, you know, direct to VHS movies about franchises that are supposed to be for kids. You'd think nowadays with streaming, they do it a lot more. Hell, Ronald McDonald got six direct-to-VHS specials. You'd think Chuck E. Cheese would have been perfect for that kind of franchise building, but no. This is the only Chuck E. Cheese-related movie. Well, there is apparently another one in the works, but I highly doubt that. But what exactly would be a direct-to-VHS movie about a mouse who was an orphan and didn't know when he was born so they never celebrated his birthday, so when he grew up he made sure there was a place where everyone can celebrate their birthday be about? You'll see. <laughs> Hi. 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 Welcome. Ah, Italian man, jump scare. Come on in, my little friends. Come and join us. Uh, no thank you. I don't think kids should follow a guy that owns a pizzeria slash arcade. Lest they be stuffed in the animatronics. Last FNAF joke, I swear. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Yeah! <laughs> Get on with it! So this movie starts with our four heroes coming for an emergency meeting, all dressed up in different colors than they usually wear to better work with the green screen this movie is going to be loaded with. Thanks for coming! Hey, Pesquale! Hi, Pesquale! Hi, Pesquale. I think you all know a Charlie Rocket. Yeah, hey, Joe, we've seen him around the neighborhood. Oh yeah, who could forget Charlie Rocket? He's my favorite Chuck E. Cheese character next to building! 
Uh, upon further research, it turns out Charlie Rocket is an actual character in the Chuck E. Cheese universe and has been around since the Tux Chuck era. I seriously thought this was just a throwaway character with a name to match the theme of this movie. This is a huge rabbit hole I fell into. Charlie is the reason I called this a meeting tonight. He has a little problem. Charlie has gotten in trouble with a rival family and we need to do it a whack. Oh no, what's the problem? It's a simple. Charlie, he's in a bind. He needed some dough. Well, why do you need us, Pasquale? You've got more dough than anyone in town. Ooh, that's the quick glance of a man who's hoping that the feds didn't just hear that. Squally's not talking about the kind of dough you make pizza with. He means the other dough. No, a deer, a female deer. But why do you need a female deer, Charlie? Well, actually... He need the cash. You fucking morons. Come on, gang, cough it up. No holding back. I've got two dollars. Here. Ooh, wait. A ten spot. But I have a feeling that Charlie needs more than this. You're right, Chucky. Charlie, he need a fifty thousand a dollar. Are you crazy? What are we gonna do? That's quite a nest egg. What's the money for, Charlie? It's for my aunt and uncle. See, they're farmers. Their tractor's engine blew up and, like, it's harvest time. So instead of getting the engine replaced or getting a rental to take care of the harvest, we thought it'd be a good idea to come to Pasquale's. He does owe us a favor for burying the bodies. Hey, uh, keep your trap a shut. And they're in a terrible fix because my dad says it'll take $50,000 to buy a new tractor. I don't know, I think this kid is hiding the true intentions on why they need $50,000 suddenly. Don't farms usually have like more than one tractor in case something you know, like this happens, and it was just an engine. Wouldn't that be a lot easier to replace than a whole tractor? How are we going to get that kind of money? Oh, oh, we could all get jobs. You know, I saw a help wanted sign down at the chicken palace. I don't think so. Uh -oh. <laughs> Jasper, now you've done it. Where do humans get off anyway, eating poor little defenseless birds? Are they crazy? Where would they be without their eggs for breakfast every morning? And how do they repay us? By giving us the deep fry! At least we never serve chicken here, right Chuck? Uh... Pasquale, do you have any ideas on how we can come up with 50000 for Charlie's aunt and uncle? Whew. I'm a glad you asked her that question, Chucky. Hell no! In a few days, a big race is going to take a place. Look to the Crystal Canyons region, ending back at the Mach 7 gateway where the race begins. Ooh, wow! Ooh. Racers from... And I'm thinking George Lucas is gonna sue a bitch. The grand prize for first to place, which amounted to about a 52,000 US dollars. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> How are we gonna get one of them fancy flying racer vehicles? You're gonna use a mild jet racer. You mean you've done this race before? Five times to be exact. Wait, so Pasquale has the ability to travel intergalactically and he just runs a pizza shop? Dude, patent that shit. What are you doing? You know, you could also run a pizza restaurant on the side if that's your passion, but why not also make money off of this as well? Also, I didn't see you try to put any money down for the kid. My old jet eraser is already at the raceway. When you get to there, you ask her for Flapperjack. Now that the prize of money she saw is a high, the racing is a much faster and more cut the throat. Why would I put my finger on his throat? What? The Galaxy 5000 speed records have been shattered by the X-Pilots, who have reached Vega 2 speeds during the time trials. Vega 2? Authorities suspect foul play by the ex-pilots, but have yet to uncover any evidence. Mostly because they really didn't care. Vega 2? Vega 2 speeds on an obstacle course? That's nuts! And that's also not a thing. You can count me out of it. I don't blame you, Jasper. I don't blame any of you if you don't want to go on this mission. But just so you know, if you don't, poor Charlie here is going to starve.
So does anyone else think it's a little bit too convenient that Pasquale just happens to come up to the fore with this kid who just happens to have an aunt and uncle whose tractor just happens to break down and it just happens to cost $50,000 to fix and that just happens to be about the same amount of prize money of a galactic race that just happens to be starting soon that Pasquale also just happens to not only have the channel at the ready, which by the way, how much does it cost to have channels from other planets on? But he also just happens to have used to compete in the race and just happens to have a ship. Call me a conspiracy nut, but this sounds entirely like a setup. Sorry, Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> uh, can I have my $10 back? Wait a second, guys. <laughs> What's that smell? Hmm, it smells like bitch in here. I got it! Uh-oh. He's got the scent. It's adventure! That's it! <laughs> I smell adventure! But uh-oh, the Chucksters got his toes a-tapping with Vegeta at the piano, which is enough to convince Jasper to join. Everybody think it's time we get together and get toes a-tapping. For you and me. Yeah! Oh, all right, all right. Peer pressure for the win! Hey guys, Jasper's gonna come with yes! us! All right! Yay, we have no actual stake in this. Why are we cheering? Come on, again. Let's go to the awesome adventure machine. Okay, why the fuck do you have this in the back of a fucking pizzeria? Okay, so the awesome adventure machine is an actual thing, but it looks nothing like this. It was only in the testing stages, and it's just a stage for the Chucky animatronic to do stuff next to a TV screen that played show tapes. I, I couldn't really find information about it because, again, it never lived to pass the testing stage, but what I gathered, it was supposed to do what this kind of does. But it seems to be more of a ship than a teleporter. Get you to the Galaxy 5 1000 in a flash. Well, come on, guys. Yeah, let's, let's do it. it. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Come on, Charlie. Uh, why are we taking a kid with us exactly? Does his parents know where he's going? Enterprise. What we got back didn't live long, fortunately. Oh, my head. Oh. Ooh. Hi. Ooh, Chucky. <laughs> uh, Helen, don't you think we could get up now? Oh, yeah. How silly of me. <laughs> Did we really need the upskirt shot of the bird? And there's those ex-pilots that were on the news. So, tell me, how do you manage to reach Vega 2 speeds? Ah, we have a superior training program. Oh my god, you can't be serious. Resulting in the maximum buffness. Ha <laughs> yeah! Yeah, we have superior training and we pump each other up before each race. That's how we are superior. You said it. Yeah. 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 Uh, can you two comment on why you were disqualified from the race last year for cheating? You shouldn't have asked that. Yeah. That was rude. Yeah. 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 Um, excuse me, care to comment on how you were disqualified last year? I don't fucking kill you, blah, blah. Oh man, it's hard to believe how these guys could have been disqualified. Also, if they were disqualified last year for cheating, wouldn't that bar them from entering this year? <laughs> hey, look at the pretty chicky. Yeah. Hey, chicky. How would you like to roost at our pod? They seriously have this in the script. Intergalactic Degeneration X hits on Helen the Chicken. Yeah! Oh, please. You buffed out buffoons can go jump in the lake for all I care. What? You heard me. Step aside, puppy. Yeah, dog man. We have to teach this little chicky a lesson. Um, are these guys going to do anything or are they just going to watch? But you wouldn't hit a lady, would you? <laughs> sure. Yeah, a yeah. lady, a doggy, whatever. Yeah, equal rights, equal fights. That's what we say. Who's going to stop us? You? I win. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? A little mouse. Yeah, some sort of rodent. 
They sure as shit wouldn't be messing with these guys if he was still Charles Entertainment Cheese. That guy was a literal mobster. Let's crush him. Yeah, let's. Give it your best shot. Wait! Peter, Ivan, enough of this. But, but Dr. Dr. Zoom! We'll demonstrate your superiority on the race course, not here. And that's final. Man, I was sure you were gonna be doggy chow. Ah, forget about them, Jasper. Let's go do what we came here to do. First, we gotta find Flapjack. But not before Munch uses his special teleportation skills. Dang it, missed it. Uh, yep, that's me. Uh, you must be Chucky. Yep. Uh, and again. That's us. Well, I sure as hell don't care enough to know your names. A friend of Pasquale is, huh? Uh, you know, me and him, we go way back. That's him in that picture there. That is way back. Okay, that's clearly JBL and Mick Foley. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go. I'm sure you're real anxious to see the songbird. The songbird? Uh, Pasquale didn't say anything about no bird. But Pasquale said you were taking to see his old jet racer. <laughs> he did, huh? Well, it's not every day you meet a group of animals that are dumber than a pile of bricks. Well, just like that, we blew our entire budget on that establishing shot. Was that really necessary? Because all you accomplished was showing us how little this world has. Like, is the only point of interest on this planet is this random starting line? It looks like there's no signs of civilization outside of this spot. So Flapjack shows the group the Songbird, the vehicle that Pasquale personally used to race this race five times. This little baby won the Galaxy 5000 race three times! Wait, it won three times, yet Pasquale said he entered five times. So did he lose those two times, or did he use a different ship? If that's the case, can we use the different ship? Just look at that beauty! <laughs> it's, a uh, green. What a piece of junk! You see, many years ago, we named her the Songbird. Can she still sing? Well, sure she can. She just needs a little work. I'll say. The only race this thing is gonna win is against a cross-eyed turkey with a sprained ankle. This Songbird has turned into a dodo bird. You're a mechanical genius. You can fix anything. Well, I know that, Miss Helen, but I'm afraid that this time there's just no... Excuse me. Yes? <sighs> Do you guys know where the racers hang out? Excuse me, miss. You seem to have walked onto the wrong set. This is the Chuck E. Cheese set. Y yeah, so they introduced this lady for, like, no reason. I mean, I guess not entirely, because her being here makes these two guys act stupid. See it? Race car drivers are so cool. <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. No, no, I got it. Hey, I beg your pardon. And it also drives a wedge between Chuck and Helen, who are apparently a thing? What? But, like, you could have had this conflict without this lady. In fact, I bet you could have written her off entirely and nothing would really have changed. Get it. Bear and square. No, I've got huh? it. Here, I'd appreciate it if you kept this to yourself. I'll peck your eyes out, bitch! Stay off my cheese! I was going to see if you'd come to the soda shop with me after the qualifier tomorrow, but... I didn't know that you were... taken. Oh, you mean Helen? Oh, she's just a friend. You know, she's like one of the guys. <laughs> right, Helen? <laughs> Wonder what's ruffling her feathers. How should I know? I'm not old enough to have figured out girls. <laughs> I don't think anybody lives that long. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> Can we meet the soda shop after the race tomorrow? You bet! See ya. Yeah, so that happened. So now we have a musical number with Helen singing, which I can only describe as a pretty good singing voice, but the lyrics are so bad, half the time she's not even singing. She's just saying words really fast. Why can't he see the real me? How could you say that I'm just one of the guys? It's over, isn't it? 
Isn't it? Isn't it over? While that was happening, the others work on the Songbird, making it an entirely different vehicle so much that we didn't really need the previous scene, actually. Hey guys, have you seen Helen? No. Wonder where she is. We haven't seen her since she left all mad yesterday. Racers for qualifying heat number four, please report to the starting gate. Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Well, Chucky, this horse is ready to go. We just need to take her for a test run. There's no time for that. The race is about to start. Get in, guys. Oh, man. Chucky? The ex-pilots never engage in Vega 2 unless they're near the finish. So take it easy at first. Get used to how she handles. Right. Concentrate on the moment. Feel. Don't think. Use your instincts. I will. And watch the last three miles of the course. They're through Dead Man's Canyon. Grandiola on the Intercop Arena. Sabaduha. Ready your cars. See the flags are moving out onto the track. Ten, nine, eight, seven, three, one. What did he say? Uh, was that really necessary? Did Did you guys need to fill in like ten seconds of runtime? Racers, stand by. Reset your clock at 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh no! Jasper! Well, fire her up, Chucky, come on! She won't stun! Well, all right, all right, just relax. Now calm down, all I gotta do is connect the blue wire to the yellow wire and and then we'll be off, okay? Just relax. Hang on a second. Wait, little Skywalker is stalled. Let's put these. <laughs> oh, and our heroes are off in what I originally thought was the main race, but no, this is just the qualifier for some reason. <laughs> Looking good, Chuck. And again, why did we bring the kid? Or like. Munch, as a matter of fact. I mean, he does nothing. The only two that are actually needed are Chuck and Jasper, because Chuck's the driver and Jasper's the navigator. And again, why endanger a kid like this? It's the Axe Tracer! A little mousey. Oh, we go down and do the hokey pokey oh, with them. Yeah. And just like that, those two are disqualified for assaulting other racers during the qualifier. Oh, here we go over here. We go for the big pancake. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look out! Run, run, run. Oh, Look out! Oh, slow is this fucking race if you could talk about it in the 10 mile mark and i guess all the other racers died or something because they never really make an appearance yeah yeah we're winning old songbird is really singing it's a zoom gas i'm tired of looking at this mousey's tailpipes here comes the juice <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> 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 
Whoa! Did you see that? Holy They must have gone into Vega 2! This is it, guys! Vega 2 time! Now shift her into drive, Chucky! Wait, hold up. This thing can go to Vega 3? And you're just settling on 2? Didn't you say earlier that Vega 2 was impossible speeds? Why the hell is there a Vega 3 option then? So the gang ended up in last place, which Vega 2 doesn't sound all that impressive then if the other racers just caught up to them that quickly. It looked like it was a really close race. And also, maybe instead of telling him to wait until Hans and Franz hit the Vega 2, maybe hit Vega 2 or hell, even 3, when it was just a straight fucking line. And, you know, worry about Dead Man's Valley at a moderate speed later. I just couldn't hold that Vega 2 speed. Well, you'll get it figured out before the big race tomorrow, won't you, Chucky? Ma'am, what is even your point here? I sure wish we knew where Miss Helen was. Hey, Jasper. Huh? Look. Well, I'll be doggone. Hey, Mousy. Look here. <laughs> Helen? Oh. Maybe you could say that today's race separated the mice from the men. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are definitely giving it to this buddy. And we're two definitely straight men and not just pretending to like girls to hide our love for each other. Well, my tail got run over by pickup. Oh joy, even Jasper gets a musical number. My girlfriend left me for it hound. We got a snowball's chance in Texas to win this race. Jasper was found dead later that night in his hotel room with a self-inflicted gunshot wound after singing that depressing ass song. A snowball's chance in Texas. A snowball's chance in Texas. Oh look, Vegeta made it over to Orion at least, somehow. I'm the prince of all pianists, Kakarot! I'm scratching at the fleas I got from Munch With my pity and my gloom And that evil Dr. Zoom Wait, how do you know that Dr. Zoom is evil? I, I mean, we know it because no one dresses in that much drip unless they're evil. But the guy never even spoke one word to you for yet. Everybody sing now that we got a snowball's chance in Texas to win this race. We got a snowball's chance in Texas to win this race. Well, Charlie, I hope you like this little song about how your family screwed. So we cut to Helen trying to trick Hans and Franz into telling her their secret. And their actual names are Peter and Ivan, but Hans and Franz is funnier. And how difficult is it, you ask? Not at all, actually. You know... Yeah? I know you guys are really, really strong. <laughs> but that doesn't explain how you can fly so fast and win so many races. I mean... <laughs> In addition to working out, we practice visualization. <laughs> In our mind's eye, we can totally see ourselves winning before it ever happens. Oh? And we use a lot of Zoom gas. Zoom gas? What Zoom gas? Uh, that's what Dr. Zoom told us to say. <gasps> I thought so. You're you guys crazy, are cheating. Lonnie. There is such a thing as Zoom gas. No! Oh my god, guys. Dr. Zoom created Zoom gas. Who could have put that complicated puzzle together? Not even Sherlock Holmes could have solved that. Yeah! Yeah! No! No? Yeah! 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 No! No! 
Ja! No! Ja? No! 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 Ja! No! Ja. Enough, you fool! And here we go, the best part in this film. Honestly, Dr. Zoom and Peter and Ivan are the best things in this film. I am the mastermind. Did you think these fools could win on their own? How could you be so blind? Foodcast. It's one of a kind! Foodcast. Don't be like Tweedledum and Tweedledee! Just one squirt and you'll be flying like Hermes and Mercury! Hermes and Mercury are the same person. Technically. Foodcast. Just a squirt in your face! Foodcast. And you can win the race! Foodcast. Okay, but how does the zoom gas actually help them with the Vega 2 speed exactly? Does it like heighten their senses? Does it like improve their reflexes? What? Guaranteed first place. Foodcast. It's a blast. Foodcast. It'll make you go fast. Foodcast. Foodcast. It's one of a kind. Foodcast. The others will find. That you'll leave them behind. Guess the main ingredient? I doubt you could. It's extract of chicken and it's finger licking good! Oh my god, he's Colonel Sanders! Wait, so the secret ingredient to the gas is ch chicken? What? It'll make you go fast. Yes, yes, yes! No! No? Oh yeah, I guess it was kind of stupid to have just stood there. Afraid, my dear, that I can't let you go. As the saying goes, loose lips sink ships. So was there space Nazis and space World War II in this universe? But I don't have lips! Yeah, but uh, loose beaks cause leaks that sink ships. Because tomorrow, shortly before the race, I'll be paying you a little visit. In short, you will be reduced to juice. No! <laughs> oh no! Anyway, we cut the Chuck going off alone, the train, and I don't know why he's being so stupid, actually. You know, he needs Jasper as the navigator, so why is he driving through Dead Man's Canyon blind? Here he goes. Chucky, wait! Don't go off alone! It's not safe! If I don't try to make it through Dead Man's Canyon at Vega two speeds now, we won't have a chance tomorrow! And I'm coming with you. Sorry, Jasper. This is something I have to do alone. Well, you convinced me, Chuck. Go on and die, then. All right. I'll get with it and go straight into Dead Man's Canyon. Wow, this is the worst Rogue Squadron gameplay I've ever seen. Get easy there, laddie. That's quite a bump you've got there. What? Uh, okay, so not only is this movie copping off of episode one, this came out several months after that movie, and I'm pretty sure this didn't take more than a few months to make. They are now somehow seeing into the future and are just copping off of episode eight. Or was it that Ryan Johnson copied off this movie for episode eight? Probably not that one, because these three would have made that movie a lot better. So Chucky crashes and is saved by the Hermit, who is just the guy who plays as Pasquale. And instead of a bad Italian accent, he does a bad Scottish accent. Two days, a big race is going to take a place. Oh, you crashed all right. Why, that jet racer of yours nearly took my head off. Oh no, the song void. Winning isn't everything, you know. I don't care about winning. It's the money I want. Oh, greedy, eh? It's for a friend. His family's in trouble and he needs my help. Well, that's a wee bit different then. Well, what did you do to prepare for the race? What the kind of training did you do? Well, I didn't do any training. 
He sort of hopped in and went for it. Ah, well, there's your problem. You can't expect to be your best if you don't practice. In fact, it was kind of stupid to send someone with no training into a highly intense race. But who's gonna teach me? Well, I will. You? Sure. Almost all hermits know the ancient art of realizing your true potential. That's why people call us hermits instead of bums. <clears throat> you say you want to win? But there's nothing wrong with losing. Oh yeah, this guy definitely knows what he's talking about because his singing voice is Master Roshi. So the Hermit has Chuck go through several training sequences during a montage song. I is it Chuck or Chuck E? Because I've heard people call him Chucky, but the E is his middle name. And while that happens, Jasper and Mulch do absolutely nothing. I miss Astrid. He's been missing since last night when he went out alone in the Songbird. We don't know where to look for him. He only said he was going to drive through Dead Man's Canyon. He could be anywhere by now. And then Pretty Deadly shows up to steal what's-her-name. There's... There's literally no point to this character. Sorry about your little mousy friend. We like having him around. Yeah, we like stealing his girlfriends and beating him in the races. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely like women. <laughs> Who'd have figured? Yeah, bitches ain't loyal. And then Helen gets herself out of this little predicament all on her own. Zoongas, it's black. Zoongas. Make it go fast. You know how to make a whole gallon of zoom juice. Please, girls. I'm working as fast as I can. Here I come, my little chickadee. I got it. Wow, they really held the tension for like a full minute there. My guess is that they realized they only have like 10 minutes left and they needed it all for the final race. Chucky! Oh, hey, Chucky. Helen! Yeah, thanks for the rescue, asshat! I, I was just trying to figure out if they were cheating. Oh, it's okay, Helen. I never lost faith in you. Yeah, I don't buy that. Chucky, do be careful. Those X guys inhale something called zoom gas. It helps them to see better when they're going Vega 2 speeds. Really? Yeah, I probably should have told the authorities and get them disqualified, but instead, I just told you! Time for a system check! Okay, coming right at ya! You check! Mega control! Check! Pizza! Huh? Pizza? Lunch? I can't help it. I'm hungry. Eight for ten? Nine. The race! Eight. It's about to start! Seven! Okay, keep the Six. space. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Uh, how much exactly was that pizza? And what, you seriously weren't going to tip this guy? He somehow got here in less than 30 minutes, and you were seriously still going to snub him on the tip? Uh-uh, I don't tip. You don't tip? No, I don't believe in it. Five. Four. Thanks. Three. Yeah. Two. Come on. One. And all that cheese is now on one side. Good job, kid. Looks like a few Tuscan Raiders are camped out on the Canyon Dune turn. Hold on, guys. Wait, they seriously let Dr. Zoom walk free? And he chose to go watch the race instead of skipping town? Go, Chucky! Wait to go! Ah! They just don't make them like they used to anymore. Okay, the hermit has an Italian accent now. I guess that's supposed to mean he's Pasquale secretly, but, like, the actor is cast as two different characters, and it doesn't really make sense that Pasquale would show up dressed like a hermit to help Chuck out, because, you know, he would have no idea that he was going to need help. 
In fact, I'm almost fairly certain Pasquale declared the group dead to collect the insurance as soon as they left. But he just watches the race here instead of back home at the pizzeria? During the race, Helen plays charades with these four police officers instead of just using words because why not? And then they just walk away because why would they help a bird? What are they up to now? Let's out, Mousy. <laughs> Holy cow! I can't see anything! We're clear! Oh no, we somehow ended up in the forest moon of Endor! Whoa! 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 <laughs> We're almost out of here, yeah! Yeah, you did it! Ah! Jockey! It's the hermit! Use the force, Luke. I hear you! Are you communicating telepathically? No! I'm on the CB radio! Oh. Chucky, listen carefully! I want you to- Hermit! Oh, did the hermit just get shot? Chuchu. Hermit! Hermit! Come back! Hermit! Oh, no. Now I don't know what to do! I believe in you, Chucky! You can do it! Well, what the fuck do you know, kids? Sit your ass back down. Yes, I think I can do it, but I've got to know that I can. But was my training enough? This is part of the plan. Oh, well, during this song, the German guys won first place and you lost. Womp womp. But no, they actually hit Vega 3, and for some reason, it's still a super close race. Like, Hans and Franz took the lead for a lot of the race. Vega 2 and 3 could not be that fast if the race is still that close. <laughs> And then Dr. Zoom gets arrested for, I guess, drug distribution, and the group celebrate their win. You did it, Chucky! Great! No, Helen, we all did it! No, actually, I did all the work. You guys did fuck all! Now because of you, my aunt and uncle won't lose their farm! You're welcome, Charlie. You helped me believe I could do it! No, he didn't. Yeah! Give me five, Charlie! Come on, everybody! Yeah, come on, everybody! Hey! We did it! We done it! He gotta love it! And now it's time to shout and be happy! Jump to the sky! Wrap all our cares away! We feel so like that we could fly! We're gonna shout! It's your fault! Shut up, it is not my fault! Idiot. Shut, Shut up! I even like you! Whatever! Shut up! Well, that was a pointless cutaway, but anyway... Jump! <laughs> and with that, the movie's over. We never actually get to see them get the prize money, so it's my headcan that Pasquale took all of the money, and then they accidentally left Charlie Rocket there because it's the last thing he was in, and he became a slave, was picked up by a Jedi, fought in an intergalactic war, and eventually brought down a whole government. This movie is honestly not really that bad. It was very enjoyable, albeit it was a little silly and the writing could have been better, but I could definitely see a kid enjoying this. In fact, if I saw this when I was a kid, I probably would have loved it. Honestly, the most I'm upset about from this is the fact that this was the only thing Chuck E. Cheese actually produced. Like, they should have made a series of this. But they did make this at the end of the 90s, and that was when all of this stuff became less and less common. 
The three bad guys definitely being the highlight of this, they definitely look like they were having the most fun during recording. This just feels like the third movie in a franchise. But hey, this movie was a fun time to watch and riff on, so if you think you enjoyed doing that as well, maybe check this movie out. It's only an hour long and you can easily find it on YouTube as of right now when this video comes out. I can't really guarantee it'll be there in the future, but you can also probably just find it easily on the internet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and comment down below. And also subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted to when new videos are out. And thank you to everyone who recently subscribed to my channel. We just reached over 500. Let's get to 1,000 just as quickly. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, you guys take care.